you may be trying to you know um, you know start a business and it may not be God's time for you to start a business you may be trying to buy a house and it may not be God's time for you to buy a house you may be trying to start a ministry and it may not be God's time for you to start that ministry we know that Moses started his ministry at 80 years old we mo we know that David became king at 30 he started his main ministry of being the king of Israel at 30 we know that Jesus started his ministry at 30 years old as well and it went for about three and a half years or three years you know guys you know guys and we see time and time again in the Old Testament when you know Abraham Isaac and Jacob whoever it was they met they met their spouse they met their wife they met their husband and it was at a specific time it was ordained by God it was a God appointment a divine appointment you know guys you know guys in the Old Testament it says that God has written a book about all of us every each and every one of us has a book written about us in other words God has a plan for our life hallelujah and you know guys if you want to fulfill God's plan in your life you need to be led by him you need to wait on him you know you could be trying so hard to get you know your father or your mother or your friend or your work colleague saved you know every day you're telling them about Jesus you're praying for them but it might not be their time to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior that might be in 10 years time we just don't know you may be trying really hard to start a business you're putting all your money or your time into um, starting up a business and you know God never told you to do that and because you're going ahead of God's will in your life or you know you're going you're stepping out in faith without, without asking God you could lose all your money you could lose all that time you know guys hallelujah you know guys some of you could be asking God for healing you know guys and you know guys um by his stripes we are healed and you know guys he took our infirmities he took our sicknesses in mark 16 17 to 18 it says lay hands on the sick and they will recover so we know that healing is normal christianity but for some reason you know you've been asking god to heal you for years and years maybe there are some deep roots maybe there's something blocking your healing maybe it's not the right time you know guys i'm not saying that you should stop asking that you should you know stop asking god to for your healing to come and proclaiming that you're healing but you know guys years of proclaiming that you're healed maybe years later god can show you that there might be unforgiveness there might be um some kind of open door to the enemy there may be some demon that has an open door that's making you sick excuse me you know guys <clears throat> it's got a bit of a cold huh but you know I want to ask you is God's timing right in your life God's timing is always right in our life but I want to ask are you living are you doing according to God's timing God has a schedule you know we can't see it with our physical eyes the only way to know is to ask him is to be led by him is to be led by his Holy Spirit you know guys you have no idea what God has in plan for you you know in one week's time in one week's time God could start you know could give you a ministry God could um you know reveal himself to you in a dream you know guys God could um could bless you with with property God you know you know guys God could give you a new opportunity for a house God could um, bring your whole family unto salvation. You know, guys, you know, guys, God could speak to you in a vision or a dream saying, now I want you to start that, that business. Or now I want you to reach out to that family member. <coughs> <coughs> because if you go according to God's timing, you're going to be blessed. It's going to work. It's going to be God's will. But if you just keep on running ahead of God, and saying I'm gonna do this now and this person's gonna get saved now and you know you're getting angry because you're not getting healed or you know you're, you're trying really hard to, to find a partner you know but you just keep on failing you know you're trying really hard to 
you're trying really hard to start a business, you keep on losing all your hard-earned money, you know, is it God's timing? There is a time for everything, you know, guys. And the important thing is to find out, number one, if it's God's will, and number two, if it's, if it's the right timing. For instance, if you plant tomato seeds in winter, it's probably not going to work. I'm not a I'm not an expert farmer, but I'm pretty sure you, you know, there's a, there's a season to plant seeds. You know, guys, there's there's a right season <coughs> to do things. You know, guys, you know, guys, like to play soccer. You know, there's a right season to do that. You know, guys, if you try to start that business and God's favor isn't on it or <coughs> God didn't want you to do it, it could fail. You know, if you get married to someone and <coughs> and God, you know, never told you that that was a person who He wants you to get married to, you could end up in divorce. You know, if you run ahead and you keep on, you know, telling everyone, um, telling a family member who you want to be saved about Jesus continually, and you keep on putting Jesus in their face, Jesus in their face, it could turn them away from the Lord permanently. You never know. You know, guys, there is a right time for everything. You could be wanting to leave the ministry that you're at or join a new ministry. And God is still working on you in this ministry. God is using you in this ministry. And you run ahead and you go to this new ministry. And you didn't learn what God wanted you to learn. Or you're learning something that God doesn't want you to learn in this season. And it's just going to confuse you. You know, guys. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a bit of a cold. You know, guys, can you understand what I'm trying to say in this message? There's a right time for everything. You know, guys, there's a scripture that says, Be still and know that I am God. You know, guys. People, you know, read over that and they say, Yeah, I'll be still and know God. No, if you really be still and, and, and you know, you, you spend a little bit of time being still and hearing from God, He'll guide you. You'll hear Him as clear as my voice that you're hearing in this video today. You know, guys, let Him guide you. You know, guys, it says He will guide you down the best pathway for your life. You know, guys, you know, guys, um, to be guided by the Lord is wisdom. King David, well, before he was a king, he used to pray and say, Lord, if I go down to this valley and I fight these people, will I win? <coughs> And you see that the Lord said yes or no. You know, there's a reason he asked God. Because if he went down there and he wouldn't win, then he would have been destroyed. And in the same way, if you get married to the wrong person, you might get destroyed. If you keep on trying to share Jesus with someone who's not ready to receive him, you know, it could destroy their, their chance of becoming saved. You know, if you keep on trying to start this business without the approval of God, you're just going to waste your money, waste your time, and it could end up getting destroyed easily. You know, if you're trying to buy a house and it's not the right season or the right time to buy a house, you might get ripped off. You know, God wants to bless you, you know, guys. If you keep on trying to get married to this person, and maybe God doesn't want you to get married to them, you could end up with a broken heart and and a broken life for trying to get married to someone who God doesn't want you to get married to. You know, guys, you know, guys, there's wisdom in this. God wants you to do well. You know, guys, God doesn't want you to have a broken, hard, um, fruitless life. He wants you to have a prosperous, prosperous life, you know, guys. Hallelujah. I don't know if you can see this bird. <laughs> Look at that beautiful bird. You know, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but it's flooding here. Hallelujah. You know, guys, and... You know, it's like you're trying to build a house here. And, um... And little did you know that within a couple of weeks, it's going to start flooding. You know, God knows the future. <laughs> Let God guide you. God doesn't make mistakes. There's a right time to get married. There's a right time to start a ministry. There's a right time to change, you know, church that you're in. There's a right time to get married. There's a right time to receive salvation. There's a right time to start a business. There's a right time, you know, guys. Hallelujah. For everything under the sun. You know, guys, I hope that this video, it's small, it's simple. But I hope that, you know, it touches someone. 
to realize that there's a time. Don't rush God's timing. God's timing is perfect. Hallelujah. You know, guys. So Jesus loves you. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed week in Jesus' name. See you guys. Bye.